Moving on to problem five and problem six from the AMC 10B of 2022. This is literally problem five. So we want to find, well, basically we want to find what all of this is. One plus one third times one plus one fifth times one plus one seventh divided by the square root of one minus one over three squared times one minus one over five squared times one minus one over seven squared. We see, clearly see a connection here. So this means that we can probably divide it. First of all, we can just like add all these and subtract all these out. Um, on the top, we get 4 thirds times, what, 6 fifths times 8 sevenths. And on the bottom, inside the square root, well, this here is 8 ninths, 8 ninths times 24 divided by 25 times uh, 48 over 49. And we have to take the square root of that. Well, um, we see here that these can actually, these numbers can actually be broken up into these numbers up here. Eight, nine, well, four thirds is well, 8 ninths is 4 thirds times 2 thirds. 6 fifths is 24 over 25 times 4 fifths. 8 sevenths is 48 over 49 times 6 sevenths. So we can further break this up. 4 thirds, the top stays the same. 6 fifths times 8 sevenths. And then you divide. Um, this is 4 thirds times 6 fifths times 8 sevenths. And then you have to multiply this again by 2 thirds to get the 8 ninths with here, this, and this. And then you multiply, um, uh, and then you multiply this by 4 fifths, because 4 fifths times 6 fifths is 24 over 25. Then you finally multiply it by um, a six sevenths because six sevenths times eight sevenths is forty eight over forty nine. Now, if to take the square root of all of this, we see that these two are the same. So, well, we can just um, divide it. On the top, you get the square root of four thirds times six fifths times eight sevenths, and on the bottom. We just get this, the square root of 2 thirds times 4 fifths times 6 sevenths. Well, we see here, this is just 4 times 6 times 8 square rooted over 2 times 4 times 6 because the bottoms are no more now. So um, we can actually cross out some factors. All you get is square root 8 over square root 2. This is um, the square root of 8 over 2. Well, this is positive or negative 2, but in this case, well, in the answer choices, it's 2. So 2 is our answer for problem 5. Now we're solving problem 6. How many of the first 10 numbers of the sequence, 121, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, dot, 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 are prime numbers. So we want the first 10 numbers. Now, I saw the solution in an in interstigation video. It's, it's pretty cool. So um, basically, you just have to analyze. Well, first we analyze these three numbers to see if it's a pa there's a pattern coming. 121. We can break that into 11s. This is 110 plus 11. So we factor out the 11. This is 10 plus 1. 11 times 10 plus 1. 121 is not prime. 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. Same thing, except this is now 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, I think. Yeah, plus 1, 1, 1. Factor out the 1, 1, 1. This is 100 plus 1. Oh, let's move on to our third number. One, 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 two, one, one, one. That doesn't look so good, but okay. 
bear with me. This is one, 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 four ones, and then just, yeah, three zeros plus one, 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 one. We factor out the 1,111. We get 1,000 plus one. So we just did this for the first three fat three numbers of the sequence, but we see that what like that by each number it that by each next number we can always factor it out into a sequence of like ones I guess. So there are no prime numbers in the set because we can always factor out the first ten digits of the numbers into something times something, a factor of eleven times a uh, fact uh, um, uh, um, a multiple of ten plus one. So we see here, see here that there are no solutions, so zero is our answer for this problem.